guys, hi guys, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to this channel, my name is Tofumi and I'm the creative director out of Awelewa. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make that circle skirt with outer neck. What I'm going to be needing is your measurement book, of course with your measurements, tape room, tape room, scissors and of course the fabric marker. So, I'm going to get to it right now. Now, let me show you guys how I folded my fabric. Simply what I did was, I just folded it from the edge like this. I picked it from one edge and I folded it in a triangular form like this. Basically, I'm using the whole yard of the fabric. This fabric is two so it's one and a half trousers, but if you want on the safer side, you can use two trousers, depending on the measurement of the person you are using. So I'm going to fold it again like this, still the same triangular shape. I hope you guys can see clearly. See the same triangular shape. So I'm going to fold it again like that. This place is going to serve as our zipper allowance where I'm going to be putting our zipper. Now let's get to work. The shoulder measurement that I'm using for this fabric is seven inches. So you're going to find your, your seven inches points. Here I have my seven inches. I'm going to mark it all the way because that is where we are going to start all of our measurements. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to measure my breast point, which is 10 inches. I have my breast point as 10 inches here. So, to get the armor measurement, because this is not the normal way we fold clothes, I'm just going to come up by 2 inches. 2 inches here. 2 inches here. So, that's going to serve as my armor measurement. So, now the next thing I'm going to do is to come in here with my um, neck measurements. The neck width that is how wide i want the neck to be is going to be 2.5 inches 2.5 inches and for the front i'm going to be using 2.5 inches also now for the back neckline i'm going to be using one inch one inch for the back neckline now i'm going to come onto this onto this ammo line and measure my bust the bust I'm working with is 8.25. I'm going to add an average inches extra sewing so allowance, so that makes it 9.75. So from this point, from this edge, I'm going to measure my 9.75. And that's what I have here. My 9.75 inches. So easily, I'm just going to form a triangle from this point, like this. And then that's how I'm going to cut it all the way out. So we form our neckline. Then the ham hole. Typically, what I do is I remove my um, allowance so that I get the exact bust measurement, and, I, and then I take a curve like this. So here is what we have for the front part. Believe it or not, this is almost all that you have to do. Now, what I'm going to do next is to measure my length. The length that I'm working with here is 38 inches. So I'm going to add plus one inch. That makes it 39 inches. So I'm cutting out 39 inches. I'm just going to open this side. So basically, this is what we have. I'm done cutting and now let's go and stitch it together. So guys, now I'm done and I've, I've gone to join the sides together and also I've gone to pipe the armhole. So now, let's get down to the neckline. So for the neckline, for the outer neck, what I'm going to be doing is I measured around my neck and what I have there is 14 inches, so I'm going to come back to this fabric, to the remaining fabric, and I'm going to cut out 15 inches, that is plus 1 inch allowance. So I'm going to cut out 15, 15 inches by 3.5 inches. So guys, here's what we have. I'm going to um, turn it like this. Remember, we have 15 inches, 15 inches long, that is 14 inches for the um, circumference of my neck and then 3.5 inches now what I'm going to do is I'm going to notch the middle parts of this collar I'm going to notch the middle parts then I'm going to come to the front of this also and notch the middle parts So, this is it. I'm going to open it into two like the same way we join the collar. I'm going to open it like this. And I'm going to join it all the way 
to the other side like this I'm going to join it all the way like this and then I'm going to bring the back piece to join this at a perfect angle I'm going to bring the back piece to join this at a perfect angle and I'm going to join it all the way also so I'll do that and come and show you guys Sorry, the last file got corrupted but yeah that's pretty much it i just added zip to the dress and this is what it looks like please don't forget to subscribe drop a comment and share this video if you, if you enjoyed it bye